What are you doing here? Carly asked me. Oh. And I wanted to see you. The zipper. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it's just, um, it's caught up in the fabric here. Just, just give me a, a second. Uh, all right. There we go. She's right outside. She'll be, she'll be glad to see you. She drove over here with you? Yeah. Who, um, that Lee Pan out? The guy who you saw Carly when she disappeared? With Carly where she was gone? Just that he saw her in Sycamore Bend, which fits because there's a lot of sub summer cabins up in that area. Is there any way to find out which one she stayed at? Because she was traumatized by the accident, and I need to fill in the blanks, because if somebody took advantage of her, I need to know. Hey, are you okay? Actually, I'm lousy. My mom is out of control. She sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. Whatever happened to the concept of privacy? Between her and my completely nosy little sister, no, my life... there's something I can relate to. The whole sister thing. I know it can be tough, but I also know from experience, if you're brave enough to give it a chance, a sister can be the best friend you'll ever have. I can't believe you're saying that. You, of all people. What do you mean by that? With friends like Sarah, you don't need any enemies. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I feel like I missed something here. You know, forget it. No, Maxie, it's a little late for that. Now tell me, what do you mean about Sarah? Sister friend is upstairs in bed with Lucky, as we speak. Why would you say something like that? Because it's true. If you don't believe me, go up and see for yourself. You're a business associate of Mr. Corinthos, are you not? Yeah. And you're guarding him tonight, which implies there could be trouble. I want to see you walking towards me like this. I am so over the moon to have my daughter back. <laughs> and, um, thank you, all of you, for being here and, um, being so supportive of my mom when I was missing. You know, that's really all. I just wanted to say thanks and enjoy the party, okay? Jason. You didn't tell Sonny the truth, did you? Not yet. Carla, you promised. Yes, and I meant it. So? Jason, there hasn't been any time. No, no, no. You're gonna have to do better than that. We had to be here for the party. Look, I said something I meant. If you don't come clean, with Sonny about Stan gone on purpose after the accident, I'm going to. Jason, you cannot tell him. 
watch me. Jason, you have no idea what it was like while you were gone. How, how, how... I did so much stuff. Sonny froze me out. I was desperate for his forgiveness, and I do not want to go back to that again. And Sonny doesn't want it either. So your solution is to lie to him more? I am back. Can it just be enough? No, because Sonny will not let it. He asked me to find your cabin and check out your story. He's going to expect me to come home with some answers, and I'm going to. You, you cannot stay inside for the life of you. What's going on? Elizabeth. Do not even fix your mouth to say I can explain. Besides, no explanation necessary. Even pathetic little Elizabeth can put this puzzle together. Don't let me interrupt. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, you wait a second. Why should I? Uh, so I can hear more. Sorry. Sorry I don't love you anymore, Elizabeth. Sorry I can't keep away from your sister. Please don't expect me to believe you're sorry you took her to bed. This probably isn't even the first time. I swear it is. I believe that. I don't. I don't. And you know what? I don't have to believe or be one more thing I don't choose. And that includes spending one more minute staring at your miserable, lying face. Hey, hold on a second. You know what? Let go of me, Lucky. Fine. Fine. One thing, though. I did this. Don't take it out on Sarah. No, Elizabeth. We both did this. You know, I really got to hand it to you, Sarah. You are a piece of work. I completely underestimated you. Sarah the good, Sarah the pure, Sarah the lying slut who swore to my face she would never go after Lucky. Do you remember that? I just told you it would kill me to see the two of you together. But you know what? I think I underestimated myself too because I did see it and I'm still standing. It didn't kill me. Yes, it disgusts me to see the two of you in the same bed where he used to make love to me, Sarah. But I was done anyway. Knock yourself out. Hey, you know, go ahead. May as well take her on the counter of Kelly's, too. You both are nothing to me. Nothing, you know. I, I didn't know Jason was at the party, and, and I thought he was leaving, and I didn't want him to go without catching up. So that's why you ran out? Is that what I did? Yeah. I ran? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I just wasn't very comfortable in there, and... Do you mind if we leave? No, no, not at all. Um, can you say bye to Bobby for me? Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. All right. So I can, I can count on you to check on uh, Carly's story, right? Yeah, you can count on me. Yeah. And, you know, looking out for it before, like, you know, uh, our guys, Jax's, you know, the cops. Even Nicholas Cassidy had people on it. It just, it, it doesn't, you know what? It doesn't add up. You know what I'm talking about? I'll take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Thanks for coming mm. to my homecoming. Mm. I'm happier than I've been in a long time. Mm. All right, bud. I saw you go upstairs. Hi, Maxie. I don't want to get into this right now. I understand. I'm really sorry. No, don't be. You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Elizabeth. Oh, is 
everything all right? <sighs> no, actually, it's it's not. But do you mind if I leave? No, of course not. It's fine. someplace. I really need you right now. 